April Jones is bothered by Omarion's interview with Jason Lee. I am 36. I'm about to turn 37. And I won't do it anymore. If you're a piece of shit, you are definitely a piece of shit. And I won't sit here and try to cover and let's meet in a room and put me on the interview, Jason Lee. I hope you guys put that on. Put me in an interview room and say, hey, how do you feel? How do you feel? Give it a fair shot. Give it a fair shot because it hasn't been fair to me to hear my name constantly over and over and over and over again. I haven't been able to tell my side. I have literally shut the up. I have taken care of my kids. I have been quiet, but y'all got me up. You have got me up. Okay. I'm here. Call me what you want to call me. Homie hoppers addicts i'll take it don't really give a don't care but i bet you won't put me in the same room and that's what i'm talking about is this is the year of accountability this is the year of facts this is the year of not victimization this is the year of throwing out narcissists if you are going to protect one protect the other women have got to be protected y'all over here protecting these men who are pretty much pretty mm, not all not all. See, I just, I'm a, mm, full of shit. But women have gotten, had to have endured. And I have been one of those multiple and multiple times. Y'all see me with certain people. Y'all like, ooh, ooh, that. I'm going to tell you right now. It ain't what it appears. I'm going to be honest with you. It is not what it seems like. I'm going to tell you the truth. People are walking around lying and deceiving and manipulating and egotistical stop with the shit and it gets to a point when a bitch gets tired i have not said a word i have been tired i have been quiet but you want this work i'm gonna give it to you if you want to hold the other side accountable Any interviewers, any blogs, I am here. I stand tall. I stand firm. Give me an opportunity to speak my motherfucking truth and put that other person across from me to say he is. And I bet you what they're saying in that room will not be what it will be when I'm sitting in front of them. And that's what y'all need to do. A good blogger, a good interviewer, a good, all of it. Work. Do the job. Interview proper. Do it proper. Give it to the both sides. That's all I'm saying. Give it to the both sides. Give it to the both sides, man. Stop giving it to one side and giving it to the world. Y'all can destroy a person like that. Give it to both sides. But a person will never sit in a room with a person who's real. Let's see. Let's see. And this is for the women. I speak. I'll do an interview. But I'm just saying, I speak for women. Y'all got us up at this point. We tired. We're tired. We're tired. Okay? I'm tired. And I'm not going to continue to subject myself anymore. It's like, oh, well, um, um, are you told... First and foremost, people are saying don't give them the power. How is one giving someone the power when I haven't even had an interview? When I'm just sitting here giving you the power to say that I support you as a woman. That is the craziest part about it. And this is the psychological disturbance that I have with humans. You're not emotionally intelligent. Okay? If you were in a woman's shoes where... Um, you're being, you know, your life has been a spectacle. At what point are you going to protect yourself? And at what point are you going to protect you? And it, and listen, if you don't care, don't be in the live. If you do care, sit in the live. But I will say this, y'all got it confused. Y'all be sitting here looking at people like, well, this is his and he's a great person. You don't fucking know that person. You ain't you ain't sleep you ain't like stop that shit's crazy to me i never say someone's good if i if i've never 
encountered. I'll believe a girl before I believe my, like the experience. This is crazy. So I say this to say, I'm a woman's woman. Don't give a f I will speak it. I'm talking about it. This is the life I chose. You're absolutely right. And it chose me. But in the life that I chose, it does not subject me to not be honest about what I'm going through. It does not subject me to deal with the shit that a motherfucker will put me through. It does not subject me to be treated like shit. Period. It does not subject me to deal with things that you wouldn't deal with. Because this is the life I chose. Shut the fuck up. And that's what I'm speaking about. You and whoever you wrote in on this imaginary blanket of lies. You can f*** the f*** off. And I mean it. Women. I stand for women. Period. Period. All I'm saying is, in this moment, if you're going to interview one, I don't play the victim. I'm not a victim. So you're a dummy. But all I'm saying is, if you're going to stand for one, stand for all. Give, you know, you got to interview both. That's it. So that's it. I don't care what y'all say. Don't get. <laughs> yep. That's great. I slept with who I slept with. Who cares? You bitches and you people don't know. And uh, at the end of the day. Um, no, I'll read the comments because I think it matters. But does it matter? Does it affect me? No. Like I said, I stand for women. I lost my father two weeks ago. It has been a very rough period. But I think in losing my dad is when I've come to the realization that it's like, like life is really short. And like, we're all going to die. And, you know, are we going to sit here and like, if I have a platform or if I have a position to be able to say the truth, am I going to sit here and be like, this is not my truth? I don't want to be that person. That's just not who I am. So... To anyone that is suffering or anyone that is going through something, to anyone that needs healing, to anyone that has any sort of heaviness on their heart, I want you to know you are not alone. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.